slow water game changer. So that's what this whole video is about. Slow water game changer. This thing is insane. So, uh, this bait was created by Chris Adams. He's an Australian man. He created this bait. He says he's been playing with the concept for about two years. Now, all of my information I am getting from the man himself coming from Facebook and a group called uh, Game Changers, actually. But this, uh, he, he created a bait that, as he says, eliminates the up and down tail movement, which fish do not do. They side to side. So the foam tabs create the side to side motion. And it, it swims like a glide bait. Or like a, you know, like a spook on top if you jerk it fast, but underwater. So this is a insane bait. So I have one right here in black and green. These are kind of opposites of each other. But in the video, I'm using a white one. And uh, so this was my first day trying it out. Brought it out to some golf course ponds. Me and my buddy Danny. Now I tried to get Danny. I was trying to get him because I tied up two. I was trying to get him to use it. And he refused for two days straight. Because he was trying to use baits that he tied. Which, I'll give him this. He caught fish for the first time on a fly that he tied. And there's no better feeling than that. So, can't blame him. But, uh, yeah, the bait is insane. Even the next day, we took it out. Now, we suck at redfish and didn't catch any redfish. But we went to the bayou. Caught some bass. And I talked to some buddies of mine that uh, were fishing as well. And they said they didn't catch anything. And, you know what? The slow water game changer prevailed. It got me two bass. So I used it in a kayak. I used it wade fishing. And I used it bank fishing, pond hopping. So I tried it multiple different ways over two days. And I was blown away. Every strike I got, it, they just smoked it. They hit it so hard. It was never just a uh, small strike. Every hit was they were trying to murder it. And this was right after a cold front. The fish were not hitting hard. It was a slow day. And every time I went out there, I caught fish. I'm not saying you're going to catch fish every time. I just had good luck on these days. But the bait definitely made a difference. It, I was catching fish when other people weren't. I can't say nothing better. So, in case you see something moving. So you got to try this bait out. It's pretty much just a game changer with some foam tabs. And then you can trim the tabs up to adjust it, how it swims in the water once you're done. To make it swim perfect. So uh, I'll, I'll make a video on how to tie it, but so far, this is my favorite bait. I think it could be the best bass bait I've ever tried. And I tie bass streamers every day, like just for fun. Intricate bass bugs all the way down to simple little bucktail baits, but this is my favorite now. This has been a literal game changer. Get it in, Danny, get it in. Oh, that's a big fish. On one you tied. Oh, so this thing actually is, is a true subsurface bait. It's not at the top. I know, this bait, I can see it underwater so well. But I just seen it go sideways. Oh yeah, that was it. That was the cast. Got him. Got him. Dude, that's a good fish. This is a good fish. Got him on the reel. Yeah. Red light blinking. Okay, making sure. <laughs> that's a solid fish. That's a solid fish. Come here, buddy. Woo! First one on the changer. <laughs> Dude, check that out. <laughs> Dude, that's, heavy. that's gotta be bigger than mine, honestly. It's gotta be. It's gotta be bigger. That, oh, he's already, Look already how fat it is. All right, we'll let you go real quick, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, got another one. Got another one, a smaller one. I seen the strike though, it's so cool. Watch him swipe that. <laughs> yeah. 
There's a little guy. Come here, buddy. That got you. Oh, he came off. Yeah. Oh, he came off. That's okay. You got the I touched the leader. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> And look, it actually does sink. It's like a suspended bait. It stays right in the middle of the column. But if I don't jerk it, it will actually sink. Super slow. <laughs> but the second I start moving it, it climbs back up. Now there seems to be some activity going on over here. I just saw something attack. Let's see what it was. Boom! Right off the rip. God, yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's work her down. Work her down. Oof! Right off the rip. Came up, got eaten. Knew that that'd be a good spot. Oh, wow. This feels like a good fish. Feels like a good fish. Come on in. It is a good fish. It's a good fish. Mm. Let it run with it, let it run with it. All right. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> it's like another two pounder. <laughs> I'm not even gonna weigh this one. The other one's definitely bigger. I was looking at what you were doing. And I'm like, did he caught on something? Like, nope. Yeah, I figured that a long There we go. There we go. It's another good one. Another good one, Danny. We're doubled up! Well, you lost on the weight department today, son. <laughs> Dude, that's another one that's probably close to two pounds. <laughs> Just a little bigger. Just a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I got it. I got it. I'm a champion. I catch big fish, Danny. <laughs> oh, Danny. Just admit it, this is the best bass bait you've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, the guy who created this bait's from Australia. He catches like barramundi and all those cool fish all on, on them. Oh, dude, it's really oh, yeah. <laughs> The bucktail in my closet is wearing out. It's what? It's wearing out. Wearing out or falling out? Wearing out. Yeah, frayed up. It's coming undone? Let me see. I don't say, I don't say undone, I was like frayed yeah, up. Yeah, it's here. coming undone from the tip. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, so put a dot of glue there on the next one. A tiny dot, you know? So what do you think of the bait? <laughs> the strikes are also so... <gasps> dude, dude, dude. Look at all them deer. There's, there's one, two, four deer looking at us right now. I wish I had my other camera. Hi. Hi, deer. Hi, deer. I like how they're just sitting on the highway. They're just sitting like next to the highway. Too. Yeah, dude, they don't even care about us. 
Yeah, if I if I'd have brought my good camera, I took it out so I could put more baits in my bag. I thought you I thought you were going at like the water of like a fast. No, one. look at all them deer. There's four deer. Just got out to the spot. We can't decide what side to launch on. Head, left side, tail's right side. Let's see. Where'd it go? <laughs> Some bitch. Tell me you lost my only coin that we had. Yeah, I tried to catch it. Oh, tails. Tails? All right, right side it is. We'll launch on this side? Yep, right side it is. All right. That's how you settle decisions like an adult. Flip a coin. I'm gonna be throwing this uh, slow water game changer. It's got some foam on the top. This thing swims like a spook. Insane. Let's right. see what Danny's throwing. I have a little shrimp, a little rattling shrimp, and, and the clouser. And then the uh, clouser tied on a bass hook. Yep. <laughs> hey, it's all water, Hey, I tied it. It's good. I know it's good. I'll let Peyton try it. The fish is heads, left side, tails, and right. I feel like there's a flounder here somewhere. Slow down, slow down. Right to the right of me. There was just a tailing redfish. Or straight ahead of me, really. Tailing redfish. See it, see it, see it! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. It's tiny, but it's not red. Oh, right in front of me. We, we suck at red fishing. We gave up on that. We're now at the bayou. Try and catch bass. We suck at that too, but we got a better chance of catching a bass. Hopefully. <laughs> you gotta go get it. It's the best bait ever. There's just no way around it. Fishies, fishies. Come on, you get up here. 